why are you doing what you're doing, right? What, what, it's not just about what you know, it's why are you doing it? And why I do it is to serve, is to give back to the community. My name is Johnny Terrell and I am the Executive Director of Student Services in the St. Vrain Valley School District. Education, man, 26 years ago I didn't think it was going to be my life's work, had no idea, but I'm truly energized by the work and by the people and the people I work with on a daily basis. I've been in several school districts, there's something very special about St. Vrain brilliant people who all have a heart of service. I haven't met a person here in our district who do, uh, do not have a heart of service. When I say great, phenomenal people to work with, smart, um, it's not just their head, but they bring their heart to the work. Um, it makes it truly a, a gift from Dr. Haddad, our superintendent, who does a fantastic job of getting us the resources that we need um, on a daily basis to be able to not only managed during, uh, during this crisis of the uh, pandemic, but also to thrive. You're talking about someone that's able to pivot and have a heart of humility and service. He epitomizes that. Jackie Capuchin, Jackie's been fantastic. She's been very instrumental in helping us get our staff vaccinated. Uh, without her leadership, we would have never been able to pull that off. Uh, we often in education use the word collaboration, and that's great. Well, I think we go a step further, but a word I like to use is interdependence. Interdependence uh, takes off where collaboration stops. So you and I collaborating on something, yeah, we, we were having a conversation about it. There's no level of dependence that's there. When we start thinking about interdependence, I cannot be successful without you, right? Without your input, I'm dependent upon that. And so from department to department, when I think about how we pulled off the vaccination piece, that's the word that comes to mind is interdependence. We depended on each other. We had brilliant, smart people who knew their craft, knew their job, knew exactly what they were tasked to do. And they brought that to the table. We said, this is a priority, making sure that our staffs get vaccinated. And if our staffs can get vaccinated, then we can open up school and get to some sense of normalcy. So everybody just dropped whatever they were doing. We established uh, committees and work groups and we met tirelessly every week, week in and week out. We were able to clearly identify people who were eligible for vaccines. And then once we uh, coordinate them, we wanna make sure that we have some providers and some people to be able to provide the vaccines for them. We just reached out to them personally, you know, picked up the phone. We didn't just rely on an email, sent them the information that they needed. It was no, um, you need to list by Wednesday, we'll get it to you by Wednesday at, tw no, it was, we'll get this list to you tomorrow, <laughs> immediately, we'll get it to you. And we were very aggressive and we truly, thanks to probably about, mm, I think it was at least five or six major providers were able within two and a half weeks to say, we're at about 90%, step by step, week by week, day by day, okay? And we didn't care if it were 500 people or five or 50, we were taking those, those slots and say, yep, that's five more, that's 50 more, that's 25 more, that's 175 more, that's 500 more until finally we were able to get it done. It's been phenomenal. Let's do everything we, uh, we can to make sure that our students and staff are safe because schools, as we all know, they are the bedrock of our, uh, of our community, bedrock of our society. 